Hello everybody and welcome back to another World of Worship Blitz video. Uh, this time we have a, a video, a replay sent in by, or a, a screen recording sent in by, uh, by Jasper, who's in the Tier 9 Russian destroyer, the Gearing. So, oh, the Kiev, sorry. No, it's the Gearing's the American Tier 10. It's the Tier 9 Kiev. So this is a little gunboat. Sorry about that, I've just come out of recording another video and uh, I'm getting my, my, um, my ships mixed up. So it's a 10-8-9 match, um, there's obviously a carrier, you can see there's a lot of planes coming, so he reverses nicely into his, uh, into his friendly ship um, to try and double up the AA, um, and here they come, um, he's going in reverse now, um, so, and basically the reason is, is that um, the more ships that he's near, um, the more those planes will get shot down, so even if he wears the brunt of it, which he didn't, because um, they went for a bigger target um, there's less bombs, there's less torpedoes in the water now that Izumo seems to have escaped unsa uh, unscathed which is good so um, but, but now the enemy is we saw some shells coming in so they're within firing range so he's actually held back a little bit at the start which um, you know with a, with a lot of carrier planes um, is not a not an unreasonable thing to do and he's waited until the planes have had to return to base and he's taking this opportunity to sprint out he's slowing down sizing things up seeing this Missouri and um, obviously making some decisions and then he's going to go for it so here it is a Kiev versus a Missouri and a Baltimore um, so what he does now, this is interesting, so what he does here, he turns, he fires, and he heads away. Now you can see that that um, Missouri, when he fired, was well outside of torpedo range. Now what he does, interestingly enough, is he fires at the Iowa. Now, um, actually that's a real trick for a destroyer captain. What you do is you launch your torpedoes, and then you fire at a different ship. And the first ship, as you can see from that Missouri, travels in a straight line. And yeah, well that was... Um, he certainly did his share of damage there, 20, he's on 29,000, mainly from that initial torpedo strike. He may get some fires here if he's lucky, um, it's a good ship for setting fires. Um, if you're in a Russian destroyer, you've got to stay on the guns, because that's where a lot of your points come in. Um, got coverage from a, a friendly there, now he's going for the Baltimore, which is, to be fair, a pretty brave move. Um, gets a fire. Let's watch to see what that Baltimore does about that fire. He lets it burn. No, he puts it out. Um, what I find is that if um, I'm in a ship and I've just been lit on fire and I'm on full health, don't put it out because you can always use your heal. Takes a hammering from that Baltimore. That uh, that Montana, or is it Montana or Missouri? It's Missouri. is gone. Um, that Iowa has also been taking a lot of punishment. Um, people have been focusing on the right ships, the big risks. Two fires, <laughs> that's got to hurt. I think that Iowa has used his damage control, so he's going to be burning down, cursing that little Russian destroyer. Expect some gunfire, gunfire to come this direction, because uh, generally when you hurt a battleship, they want to hurt your back, but um, yeah, it's too late for that. Leaving the Baltimore relatively isolated here, so this Baltimore has got a real problem. He's been part of a task force to try and capture the enemy base, a cruiser and two battleships. The battleships are gone, leaving the cruiser. Uh, probably doesn't have to worry about the planes so much, but the um, but the knot of enemy ships, um, the knot of uh, ships on on um, on Jasper's team is um, going to be causing him some grief, and he's he's basically going for the easy target, which is the destroyer. Jasper's moved fairly far up the map, so there's a destroyer to the south, which is gone. There's a cruiser to the his left, which is um, which is heading in, and he's well, he's got an opportunity here to take on the Essex. So um, what that does, by the way, is um, it's not likely that Jasper's going to be able to deal with that Essex. Now that Mogami's a real threat. He's got a couple of real serious threats. He's pissed off the the Essex. And now he's, um, he's he's busy attacking the, the Megami. So um, it's very aggressive play style here. Um, but what it does is um, it lets his team focus these um, these ships down. And the carrier looks like he's going for that Megami. I saw some torpedoes in the water before. Um, the Megami fires his torpedoes, but firing at a Russian destroyer at that range is just you're just taking potluck really. 
Um, here the carrier's coming in. He's bringing his torpedo bombers. Um, and what um, Jasper's doing is he's turning away, trying to um, trying to run parallel tracks. Um, he's too far away from friendlies. He takes two, three of them, and uh, catches fire, puts the fire out. Got bombers incoming. Uh, 837 health is not looking too good. Uh, there's probably a number of times in this battle when um, when Jasper should have been. Uh, uh, <laughs> there's a number of times that that he should have had it, but um, he's got 4,000 health. Gets bombed. 200 health set on fire, and uh, yeah, that's not going. That's not a good look. So um, he tries to send a final message. I'm not sure if he got it off. Um, and then well. Uh, He's done his contribution for the team, so it's five against the carrier, 15 seconds remaining. A lot of that has been down to the fact that um, Jasper's been in there and supporting the team, um, providing that coverage. Um, interestingly enough, taking on the big boys rather than the uh, rather than the anti-destroyer work he did in the other game he sent through. So all in all, very entertaining. Um, great little ship by the looks of it that um, someone's firing at the carrier. Uh, the final parts of the game. Friendly fire would probably change quite a lot of that behaviour. But anyway, if that's the way you want to celebrate, so be it. Um, anyway, the uh, Kiev is a great little ship. Um, very nimble. Um, great guns. Fantastic guns. Good spread of torpedoes. Very short range. He gets the uh, Nameless Hero for the most damage. 69,000. Quite a scrappy match, but he did, certainly did his damage. Um, and that's the gearing. And what he'll do now is he'll take you through his loadout so you can see how he's got it set up. Um, if you want to set up your Kiev the same way.